Using the Quest 2 with Oculus Link for PSVR games and applications is great, but it just got even greater. Hey, I'm Nino and today I will show you my Oculus Quest 2 wireless setup. First of all, I want to make clear that in this video I will show you my personal setup and not the ultimate setup I would recommend to everyone. However, it works great for me and my use cases and that's why I want to share it with you. So what do I use? First of all, of course, my Oculus Quest 2 combined with the Elite Strap from Oculus. With the latest update, Oculus Air Link is available as a beta feature. You can enable it in the Experimental Feature tab on your Quest, then you have to enable it in the Oculus software on your computer. You can find it under the beta versions. Note that Air Link will automatically turn off if you don't use it for 24 hours, but this might change if Air Link will be released officially. For Air Link to work, the computer and the Quest have to be in the same network. The computer should be connected via Ethernet cable and it's best if the Quest is connected to a 5 GHz router. A Wi-Fi 6 capable router would be best, however it works well with my little extender that is not Wi-Fi 6. I use a travel Wi-Fi router that I already owned. It is connected to my router via Ethernet and serves as a 5 GHz Wi-Fi access point right next to my VR space. So far the connection has been great and major drops in video quality and high delay are rare. When working in Quill I don't notice any delay. But when it comes to drawing, quick reactions are not necessary, hence the delay is not that noticeable. That's different when it comes to games. Even though it is not the best router out there, I can still play games like Echo VR and 11 Table Tennis without any problem. Losing in this game has nothing to do with the latency, it's more about my personal skills. One major issue I had was the battery life, especially when working at animations, the approximately 2 hours of battery life just weren't enough. I don't want to be forced to take a break when I get into a drawing or animation flow. For this I had a simple solution. I used a power bank, put some strong velcro on it and on the back of my elite strap and just put it together. For additional safety I added another small velcro strap, then I just plugged my quest into it with a USB A to USB C cable. This increased the battery life so much that I did not get a battery warning yet, even after long sessions. In addition, the power bank now serves as a counterweight that makes wearing the Quest more comfortable. Once again, I used a power bank I already owned, but you can choose a smaller one as well, depending on your personal need. This setup works great for me so far and I get immersed even more because I don't get strangled in the link cable anymore. But what about you? Did you already switch to a wireless setup? Are you using a link cable or are you thinking about getting into PC VR? What is your configuration and how does it work for you? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this kind of content, consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. You can also join my weekly live streams where you can see how I work in Quill and we could have a little chat. Thanks for being here, have a great time, bye.